A big cliche g'day folks and welcome to Carrot Top Plays MC. Today I'm answering all the questions you guys asked me in my update video just about a week ago. So let's get into it. My first question comes from Hugo Games MC and he asks me, okay, so my question is, what made you want to start YouTube? Um, it was completely on a whim. I was introduced to Minecraft, as I've mentioned a couple of times before, by my father um, a few years ago, a couple of years ago now, and fell in love. It was a love at first sight. Um, and I found the joy in playing multiplayer online with Skype, getting into voice chats with people playing Hunger Games and stuff like that. Um, and one of my really good friends now, Mr. Doofeth Jr., hats off to you, mate, uh, said one day, well, why don't we start a YouTube channel? Well, why not? <laughs> how hard can it be? Well, how hard is it? Um, and that was pretty much it. The rest was, uh, the rest, the rest, so they say, is history. Next up, my good friend Sly asks me, who was your biggest inspiration to start YouTube? Well, besides Doofeth Jr., the uh, suggestion from him, watching other Minecrafting YouTubers like I Has Cupquake and Basher from Basherverse, uh, I saw the, um, the fun they were having producing their content and the joy it was bringing to other people watching them, uh, bringing some smiles and a little bit of escapism um, to some people out there. And I thought I, I thought I could contribute. I thought I had a little bit to give. So um, I'm going to keep doing it. Next up, we have Akronza1. I hope I am pronouncing that correctly. Uh, he's asked me, why did you call yourself Carrot Top? Um, Gee, I don't, I don't know why. I was, uh, nothing springs to mind. Um, no, pure, pure ranger, big ginger. Um, and I think actually watching Basher with the fact that his avatar was a melon, uh, which is a object out of Minecraft. I was thinking, well, what relates to me that is an object or also relates to Minecraft as well. Uh, and for some reason I focused on the, the food items, the farming and carrots with carrot top, my hair. It pretty much was a match made in heaven. Imagination Angel asks me, what do you find yourself doing in the next 10 years? Uh, broadly, I'm gonna answer this one broadly because the next one will be YouTube based. Broadly, in the next 10 years, I'd like to do some more travel. I've lived over in the UK, in Liverpool for four years and that was an amazing time. It was a really good experience and I would suggest anyone do it if they have the opportunity. Uh, so US, Canada is definitely on the list and I would really, really love to go to Asia as well and anywhere on the way in between. So leading on to the next question, which is that guy unknown, he's asked me, how far do you think you'll get in 10 years? Uh, he said that uh, somebody else posted this, but uh, that's why I'm doing them a little bit different. So 10 years of YouTubing, um, I ultimately, dreaming big, would love to be sitting in between Rhett and Link, uh, being a recognizable YouTube personality, maybe, um, or even on the Fine Brothers YouTubers React. He also asks me, uh, what is something that you might try on YouTube that you don't think you'll like? Having a gaming channel like mine, it's kind of difficult to do things that you don't like. I'm not a huge fighting, like PvP kind of girl, so that's it's a bit of an easy answer. If I was to branch out eventually, I think some things that I probably wouldn't like to do would be dares. Um, public pranks scare the crap out of me as well. Uh, but, but doing those horrible tasting things like those jelly beans that you got to eat one or the smoothie challenge or something like that. Never going to do anything like the cinnamon challenge because that's a bit too dangerous. The salt and ice challenge, no way either. And um, don't tell anyone, but I really don't like spicy food. So the ghost pepper or uh, Carolina Reaper challenge, totally off the cards too. Up next, we've got a question from Matt and Gus. Matt and Gus, one or the other or both, have asked me, uh, what do you think is the most important when making YouTube videos? My opinion on this is that you've got to be having fun. If you're not having fun, your audience can feel it. They're not going to want to watch it. If you're just sitting there with a monotone voice going, yeah, I'm about to play a game, everybody watch me, love me, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Nobody is going to want to pay any attention to you. Uh, so you've just got to make sure you're having fun. If you're having fun, other people will have fun with you. 
My next question is actually from a very, very special person to me. His name is James Nichols. He's actually been one of my most loyal subscribers in the last six months or so. So thank you for this question, James. This one goes out to you. It's a very simple answer. He asks me, uh, do you plan on doing any more face cams in the near future? I'm doing one. Uh, but yes, I've actually, uh, if you guys didn't know, I did go to Comic-Con in Adelaide. Google map it, Adelaide, it's where I was born. Learn it, love it. Uh, but I'm going in Melbourne at the end of this month, 27th, 28th of June, I'll be in Melbourne. I'm gonna be cosplaying as well, so that's gonna be very exciting. And I'm gonna have to vlog the whole thing. Uh, so yes, there's definitely gonna be more face cams in the future. Scary games as well, it's quite difficult to scare me. So I don't know if you guys have seen any of my Five Nights at Freddy's. I only ended up doing three of them because most of the time people watch a jump scare face cam reaction video just to see the player having the scared out of them um, and there's, there's tension and but I don't uh, I don't really get really really scared so um, I didn't think that it would be too enjoyable I'll see if there's another game that comes up in the future that's light and easy because I do love my Minecraft um, and maybe do some more gaming face cam so that one's uncertain but as far as general face cam definitely now, Rekt asks me, have I got a new mic yet? Uh, just to keep you guys up to date, I have had some problems with my computer recently. I found out it was actually the sound card. The sound card on my laptop isn't, uh, isn't behaving the best, so um, I have been lent a laptop from my dear sister, uh, so I'll be able to get back into the gaming videos again. So, no, I'm not going to get a new mic, not just yet. Uh, I plan on getting a, um, a blue mic of some sort. I've looked at the Yeti, I've looked at the Snowball, but I actually think I like the Nessie, just for the style and the purposes that I'd use it for. Now, Epic Ninja Girl's gone crazy on the questions, and she stepped outside of the box a little bit, so I do appreciate that very much. She's asked me a few different questions, and she even says she's going to try and be different with her questions. So first up, if you could master any skill in one second, what would that be? Uh, I had to think about this at first and I wasn't quite sure, but it popped into mind the other day. What is one thing that I would love to know or love to be able to do, that if I could do it in one second, heck, everyone would, a language, some other language. Now, I currently speak um, four languages. Um, I speak English, obviously. I also speak Australian. Um, I speak American and I'm not talking about the accent, but I do understand your guys aluminum and all of that um, And I also speak very bad English too uh, Other than that, I would love to learn Chinese. Chinese would be amazing. French, something like that. If I could master that in one second It would be, it would be a gift <laughs> She also asks, did I go through any awkward phases growing up? I hate to say it, Epic Ninja Girl, but I'm still in it <laughs> And lastly, do I have any or plan on getting any tattoos? Um, no, I'm a piercing girl. So I like my, my face jewellery. Um, tattoos, I did have a plan on getting one. And I can describe it very easily that um, I did some acting when I was in school. So the happy sad masks, the comedy tragedy masks from the Greek theatre. I was planning on getting that uh, somewhere. But every time I wanted to get it somewhere, the, the nouveau area on the body... If I'd gotten it 10 years ago, I would have had a tramp stamp. So you understand what I mean. Every time I think of getting it somewhere, the, the uh, clicky place to put it um, turns into a cliche place. I think we're about halfway through with the questions, guys. Um, so next up we have Silent Assassin 96 And he asks, what is my worst pet peeve and why? Now, I was thinking about this one also this morning, uh, that you really know you're getting old. Um, when your pet peeve is other people's manners. Um, I'd, I'd love to, to start on the grammar Nazi-ism because if I, if I was gutsier, I'd be one. Um, a lot and a lot are two different words, guys. Please learn it. Uh, <laughs> and also, um, it's not addicting. It's, it's just not addicting. It's addictive. Something's addictive. It's always been addictive until about two years ago and somebody says, hey, it's addicting. Uh, but that's another story. No, my biggest pet peeve at the moment, not just for YouTube, but for general life, is manners. Um, pleases, thank yous. Don't even mind the occasional holding the door open, but that doesn't really matter too much. General verbal manners um, towards younger and older, it doesn't matter. 
Viva Lanetchin asks me, if you could have any superpowers at all, what would it be? Uh, and I'm not too vain at all, but Elastigirl's power from The Incredibles, me with a Disney waist, just sucking it in and eating all the pizza I could eat, I think I'd go for that one. Rubius and Jack actually ask a very similar question along the lines of superpowers, and they say, if you had the power to stop time, what would you do with it? Ultimately, if you had the power to stop time, I think most people would either commit a crime or stop one. <laughs> so I'm not sure if I would actually rob a bank or punch somebody in the face who was walking out of a bank that they were robbing. Um, I'm a little conflicted about that one. Joking Giant 74, thank you so much for this question. I had a good laugh. And I did, it, it sounds a bit whimsical, but I did actually have to have a think about it. So we've got Ben Affleck, Jake from State Farm, or John Cena. Um, you got to marry one, kill one, or kiss one. Go! Uh, so I would definitely kill Ben Affleck. Nobody needs any more of him. Um, marry Jake from State Farm, I think. Definitely kiss John Cena. That's that's a no-brainer. Uh, I actually had to Google who Jake from State Farm was. We don't have State Farm in Australia, so he he looks lovely. I think I'd marry him. He'd be a good good provider and uh, good company. Be a good cuddler too. I could see that. He's also asked if I could commentate with any other famous YouTuber. Who would it be? Head back to the beginning of the videos, guys. It would be with uh, Rhett and Link from Good Mythical Morning. And very quickly at the end there, he's asked Daredevil or Arrow. Uh, from the Daredevil movie and the Arrow series, I don't, I'm not really familiar with their background stories as comic superheroes, but from what I'm seeing on movie and TV, it's Arrow all the way. He's hot. Daredevil, it was, that was a bad movie, guys. That was a really bad movie. It's got to be Arrow. Now we're getting into a bit of silliness. So I've got a question here from Menembo. And Menembo said, F you were to choose... Choose between me, Jesus, because y'all need him, uh, or the KFC guy, who would you kill? You for asking that question, dude. Um, KFC guy would probably be murder, and Jesus, um, if we're going to be silly about it, I'd possibly kill Jesus because he'd be able to come back to life, and therefore I've caused no harm. Now the next question comes with a very, very short and sweet answer. It comes from my friend Eric better known as Ebigs, he asks me, will you marry me? Yes. <laughs> Which also leads into Hey Apple's question, why haven't you married Ebigs yet? I haven't got a plane ticket. Next up, the almost solo player says, who is Pip? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I gotta go. That Pip? The longest name from anyone that's asked me a question comes from the next guy, and we've got Kevin Storm gaming channel cat videos and more. He asks me, is Colin he who shall not be named? Um, no, because Colin's alive. So, no. Um, he also asked me, why don't you like cheese and waffles? I do! I love cheese and waffles. Maybe not together, but I love them. Don't question me. So that's it for me, guys. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I do have to go now, but remember, say good day to your neighbour.